Section 7.3 is nomenclature of acids, which will be how to name acids. There are two types we'll look at, binary acids and oxy acids. So binary acids, by definition, is a two-element acid, meaning it will contain a hydrogen and then one other element. And you'll notice after this section, all acids start with a hydrogen. So to name a binary acid, we're going to give it a prefix of hydro. So notice each of the following names starts with hydro. Then we're going to determine the root of the name. In this case, it's fluor, here it's chlor, here it's brome, here it's iode, and here it is sulfur. And then we're going to end them all with a suffix of ic acid. So here we have ic acid on the ends, or as the suffix, for each of these names. The root is based on the anion. And so because HF would be called hydrogen fluoride, I-D-E, this is going to be called hydrofluoric acid. HCl is normally going to be called hydrogen chloride, but now it's going to be called hydrochloric acid. So notice that each of my binary acids, the root F, C, L, B, R, I, and S, the anion name all in in I, D, E. And so when it ends in I, we're going to actually start with hydro and end with ic acid. And we'll practice this in a couple, in two more slides. Now, oxy acids are on the right, and an oxy acid is going to contain three different elements usually. Hydrogen, for sure, is going to be the first element. Then we have a second element, which could vary. And then the third element, guaranteed, has to be oxygen, which is why these are called oxy acids, because they contain oxygen. So your anions, because your root is going to continue to be based on the anion, and in this case, your anions either have an ending of eight or they have an ending of it. For example, sulfate and sulfite. In this case, it's going to dictate what we should change our suffix to be for an acid. For example, if I have an acid that ends in 8, like hydrogen sulfate, it's going to have no prefix. We're going to use the root of the word, and we're going to end it in ic acid. And if it ends in it, like hydrogen sulfite, it's, we're going to use the root word again, and we're going to end it in us acid. So, for example, we have H2CO3, and all of them have hydrogen, but what we really want to look at is the anion. CO3 is carbonate. Because it's called carbonate, we're going to call this carbonic acid. HNO3 is hydrogen nitrate. Again, because it is an 8, we're going to call it an ic acid, nitric acid. This is hydrogen nitrite. And it is going to be changed to us. So this will be called nitrous acid. Hydrogen phosphate will be called phosphoric acid. Hydrogen phosphite will be called phosphorus acid. Hydrogen sulfate will be called sulfuric acid. And hydrogen sulfite will be called sulfurous acid. The first one is acetic acid which normally is written HC2H3O2 as hydrogen acetate. Sorry, I'm writing with my mouse this time. And so this is how it normally looks. However, <clears throat> often in te textbooks, you'll see that they have it written in this format, and it's just rearranged of the, a rearrangement of the letters. So let's put this into practice. Name the following acids, and it's all based on the anion. So we're going to start with HPO4, and my anion, they all start with hydrogen, so that's not a factor in my naming, other than it tells you that you're going to have to name this with the acid naming rules. So our anion is PO4. You need to know that that's phosphate. And because it's phosphate, we're going to change the 8 to ic acid, and so this will be called phosphoric acid. This ending is carbonate. 
And again, knowing your ions is going to be important here. And so eight is going to become carbonic acid. The ending to this one is sulfate. So eight is going to be sulfuric acid. This one, I'm going to change up my, you, you honors kids, this would be called iotic acid. However, for everybody else, we're going to call this HI instead. And so I is the ion iodide off of the periodic table. And this means we're going to have a prefix and a suffix. It's going to start with hydro. The root is iode. So hydro, iode, and then ide is going to become ic acid. And some of them are a little tricky, like sulfur. Sulfide would become hydrosulfuric acid. Phosphide would become hydrophosphoric acid. So you just got to get used to some of the names. And when you do the practice in class, you'll have that chance to practice them. All right, F stands for fluoride. And because this ends in ide, this is going to have a prefix, hydrofluoric acid is also, and we have a suffix. The last one is nitrite, and this one ends in I-T-E, which means that this is going to have no prefix, and it's going to end in us, acid. And so this one is nitrous, acid. So be careful when there is a prefix and when there is not a prefix. That's going to be a big deal. Let's do the reverse. If I give you the name, then you write me the formula. All of them start with hydrogen. So really, you can go ahead and start by putting H for each of them. And hydrogen has a plus one charge, so we'll put plus one for all of them. Now it's a matter of figuring out the anion. Because this started with hydro and it's bromic acid, my anion is bromide, which on the periodic table is Br minus one. Our charges, plus one, minus one, will cancel, giving me HBr. Cyanic acid, hydrocyanic acid, that means that this is called cyanide. And cyanide is Cn minus one. It's a small exception to one of our rules. It does have two elements, but because it ends in ide, we're going to use the binary acid naming. Plus one and minus one cancel, giving us HCn. Nitric acid. Ic means that this is, the root of this is nitrate, and nitrate is NO3 with a minus 1. Plus 1 and minus 1 will cancel, giving us HNO3. Sulfurous acid, us, means that this is sulfite, and sulfite is SO3 with a minus 2. We're going to have to switch the charges here. This gives me a ratio of 2 to 1. So I have two hydrogens and one sulfite. Phosphorus acid is going to be phosphite. Phosphite is PO3 with a minus 3 charge. Again, we have to switch the charges to get our ratio of 3 to 1. So this answer is going to be H3PO3. Acetic acid is acetate which is C2H3O2 with a minus 1. The plus 1 and minus 1 cancel, giving me HC2H3O2.